Hello everyone and welcome to this Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to test the REST API having the query parameters using the Python request library. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can test the REST API with the POST method. And we know that in the POST, we need to send a body to the server as well. Right? In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to test the REST API having the query parameters. So first, let's understand about the query parameters. So for this tutorial, again, I will be going to this particular website and here, let's go to any particular API. So this is a get API and here, after the users, you see that we have a question mark and then we have page equals to two. So basically, this is a query parameter. We are sending a parameter to this particular request. So if I click on this one. So this is the request basically. So we have this base URL followed by the end point. And after the end point, this is a query parameter which we are sending to the server. Now let's open this into the PyCharm here and let me create one new Python file here. And I'm naming it as REST API. And I'm saying this as query so this is a file and what I will do is that I will copy the previous get call request which we learned earlier so let me copy this one and paste it here and now we have the base URL so this is a base URL we have the endpoint and we have completed our URL using the combination of the both and now what we need is that we need our parameters because this particular API is sending the parameters page equals to two, right? So what we need to do is that we need to define our parameters and we'll pass those parameters into the request because they are a part of the request, get request, right? So before sending a request, what I'll do is that I will create a variable called parameters and here I will have those parameters. So parameters will be in the form of these brackets and here we need to give a value in terms of the pair key and pair like one value would be key other would be a pair so key and value combination will be used here so that is page we need to have this in the course basically double quotations so page colon and then the value is two. So we have defined this value here in terms of this variable. And now we need to use this in this particular request. So in order to use this in a request, what we need to do is that we need to use a keyword called parents equals two. And we need to provide this value here. And uh, that's it. Now let's run this one and see what happens here. So it should run successfully. And yes, it's got successfully executed and we got the status uh, 200 here and we are getting the complete whole response. But the problem here is that we haven't ch changed this endpoint here. So basically the API is slash api slash users slash api slash users and we don't want to have this one because we are using the query parameters to fetch all the users here so let's run this one again and see so it got executed successfully and you see that this is a page two and all the details are here see so that's how you can test the REST API having the parameters, okay? So you just need to define the parameters in the URL here using the parents, and you need to define the parameters in the terms of the pair and the value, so key and value. So this is the key and this two is a value, and you need to define in this format, and then you need to pass this into this request.get. So you need to provide the URL, and you also need to provide the parameters. And that's it. And this request will be executed successfully.
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.